Well, the sun is just rising today and we've got another semi workday planned. All kinds of really, really great stuff are gonna get done today. So we've got a bunch of guys coming over here. They should be here within like a half an hour and we're gonna build the winch wall, hopefully. We're going to finish insulating, hopefully and finish the plywood on the inside. We've also got a few more rivets to do. And while a group of us are working on that, another group are gonna be working on the tractor. They're gonna be flushing the coolant, changing the hoses, um, all the filters. We're gonna try and diagnose the ignition issue where it won't shut off with the key. So we've got a lot going on today. It's been a while since we've had a really, really good uh, video on actual progress on the trailer. So today is that video. Stay tuned. You guys remember, I don't know, a month or so ago, I brought you along on a video where I took um, one of our screen use kits to a drive-in over in Ohio, about an hour from me, to the premiere of Stunt Life, the motion picture. Um, the guys over at Stunt Life, also known as the Northeast Ohio Dukes, put together an absolutely fantastic movie. and It was screened for uh, the local community at uh, this drive-in in Ohio. Well, I wanted to let you know that that movie is now available for free to watch on YouTube. There's a link down in the description below. You definitely want to check it out. It's an absolutely fantastic movie. Um, Well-produced, great action, great storyline. Definitely take a little bit of time and check it out. You definitely won't be uh, disappointed. And um, also, if you're not following the Northeast Ohio Dukes on social media, uh, why don't you do that? They're doing all kinds of cool stuff. And... Um, you know, we're, we're working with them and we're hopefully planning, you know, maybe whenever the semi is revealed, we'll, maybe we can talk, uh, Ray over at Northeast Ohio Dukes to jump a kit car. So definitely want to follow them for more information and check out Stunt Life. Okay. So one more thing I need to tell you, then I promise we'll get to all the action at the work day. Before I show you everything that went on on the work day, I wanted to give a special shout out to all of the awesome people that came out this past workday to volunteer their time to work on the semi. Uh, Kevin Johnson, he's been a staple here for, he's been very, very helpful. Kevin Johnson, uh, Mark Anderson, Joe and Dot Davis, Damian Knight and his daughter Alyssa, Jason Sobel, Pat Skurdy, Ray Kahn, and a huge thank you to Zach Walker of dead man welding um, he came out and he's the one that you'll see in this video coming up that welded together this winch wall did a ridiculously awesome job so couldn't have completed all the stuff we did without uh, zach's help so i think that's it am i forgetting anyone oh i guess lucas johnson too um, he was our uh, drone operator and also a cameraman so thank you lucas um, okay, so also wanted to go over real quick our latest uh, Patreon flag agents and um, a couple questions that we had from our flag agents. It's been a while since we've done this. We've actually had a number of flag agents, um, and I apologize for not getting to the sooner, just life. But um, if you're not familiar, we have a Patreon community. There's a link in the description below and in the corner of this video. And it's a place where you can connect with us, um, see exclusive video and photo that's never published publicly. And there are four tiers of support. Actually, there's five tiers now. But if you become a flag agent, 
um, you'll get your name mentioned in a future video and any Knight Rider questions you have, as long as you're a Patreon supporter, um, we will answer on the video. So flag agent or Knight Foundation trustee, those two levels. So here are our latest supporters. We have, I'm gonna butcher some names, I'm sorry. Gregor Schmerl, Sh <laughs> I'm sorry, Gregor. Thank you for, for supporting us. We greatly appreciate it, even if I can't pronounce your name. Samantha Fran Franchet, this is gonna be terrible, I'm so sorry. Samantha, thank you, please forgive me. Jay Stewart III, that one's a pretty easy one. Jay, thank you so much for your support. We greatly appreciate it. We have Alexander Pony, Jason Smith, Eric Andresi, Alan Helas, Scott Nuck, Wanuck. Thank you guys all for your support. You guys supporting us helps us to be able to do things like Restore the Semi, so thank you again. We do have um, a couple questions from Joe and Linda Webb. Um, first question is, is the famous staircase set from season three and four still around? Um, if you're not familiar with what they're asking, in the third and fourth season of the show, there was this staircase set, um, and it was built on stage one at Universal, um, right near where the sets were for Devin's office and the semi-interior. And they kind of used it as like a, a generic location so they didn't have to go out they could just film there so it was used for flag headquarters in halloween night it was used as boyd lasalle's computer room in night in disgrace you see it in fright night you see it in um night flight to freedom in voodoo night night of the chameleon there's more but it was a very prominent set um and is it still around probably not um, my guess is that it was struck shortly after Knight Rider ended. I had always wondered also if it was ever used in any other um, Universal productions of the day. I've yet to find it in there, but my gut tells me it was. So if you guys, you know, want to check out uh, Universal Studios movies and TV shows from like 1984 for the next couple, 1984 to 87, 88 maybe, see if you can spot the staircase set. If you can, let us know. We would love to see it in another production besides Knight Rider. Um, were there any, were any of your screen use cars actually driven into the semi on the show? Um, I'm assuming you're talking about the actual semi and not the set on stage one. The answer is yes for both actually. So um, we have two of the five surviving cars and the one that's currently in the Peterson has driven into the semi. We're not sure if it's driven into the semi while it's going down the road, but you know the scene at the very end of Hearts of Stone, Michael and Devin are pulling up and they just get the front tires up on the semi ramp and get out and Bonnie comes out of the trailer. That's our car. Um, I'm sure it went into the back of the trailer at some point during the series when it was going down the road. Our other screen used car we have here, uh, as far as we can tell, was never driven into the semi, at least on film. Um, and then in terms of on set, same deal. The car at the Peterson was definitely used um, for some interior shots on the set. Our other one doesn't appear to be. Um, will the future plaque be featured on a video? How will we be able to see it? Yes, it will 1000% be unveiled in a video on here. And right now the working theory is that we're going to mount it behind this door. Um, so when the doors open, you'll be able to see a giant plaque with all the names on it. Um, that's subject to change, but that seemed to be the best place to put it. And then on the inside, you know, the semi set had those um, uh, burnt orange colored walls. Um, so what we're gonna do is, you know, whenever people come to see the semi, most of the time they'd probably be getting in and out of here, unless we have the ramp down, which I guess is another way to get in. But um, we're gonna make it so the inside panel can also open up. So not only can you go through, you know, access the interior from the side door, but you'll also be able to open the panel on the inside and see all the names. And it won't distract from the, the setting, the environment that we're trying to create in there, which is when you walk in there, we want you to feel like you're on the set in the 80s with nothing, nothing out of place that makes you think otherwise. That's our goal. So we had to be strategic about the plaque. So I think on the inside of that door, so whenever we have this at a show, we can open that door, leave it open, and people, all the public will see all the names, or we can 
close that door and open the interior panel and see the names as well. So that's all the questions we have for today. Again, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, check out the link below. We would love to have you there. Okay, that's enough of all the public service announcements. It's time to dig in to this incredible work day. Getting ready to weld here, the welding wall, or the winch wall, excuse me. That's going to be the pass through for to get behind the wall for where we're going to put a generator and other stuff in. And here we have Damien putting some rivets in. It's weird those rivets because those didn't get sandblasted, so they now they're bright and shiny, right? Oh, and Lucas is flying a drone. Uh, ready, go ahead. Got it? Got it. Yeah, no. Nice, you're making quick work of that. Comes in, man. That's right. awesome. We're gonna move to your right. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Jason. You're gonna be on video for at least a hundred people to see. Actually, probably thousands. You're it's doing not, a great job. It's looking great. It's not pretty, but guess what? It works. Well, it's all gonna be hidden. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks whoever great. Did, whoever did these made them look nice. Well, Dorsey did those ones. Oh, wait. No, those aren't Dorsey. Those were... Those were Damien and Kevin. Yeah, those were Damien and Kevin. Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, they're not going anywhere. That looks great. Yeah. Cool. Carry on. Yeah, let's knock this out. And there's a hole down there. Is that everybody supposed to be there? Over there? Yeah. I think that's the light from the winch wall hole. Coming okay. through. Oh, yeah, okay. there's three. Yeah. There's three windows. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're good there. No, we're point. good. All right, cool. Game on. Game on. Game on. Well, that's going on. back in the box. Yeah, we got to save them. All right. Hey, Mark, don't put them in the box till we get the new ones. No, the ones on. okay. Yeah, that's probably smart. Man. Kevin, looks like you're making some soup there. Yeah, some uh, lime. Lime, lime jello. Yeah. Just have to put it in the the uh, fridge to. Yeah. yeah. Make sure there's enough gelatin in it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. And then there's Lucas. And then there's me. Lucas has the, the distinction of being the number 37th Knight Rider fan. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm number 37, guys. Oh, wait. 38. Oh. Now, he's going to be doing some drone footage yeah. for us, which you'll see in this video. Assuming he's remembered to take off the plastic from the camera lens oh. this time. <laughs> I already did, don't worry. Okay. Um, so. I did, that, I did it long ago, long ago. Okay. Like, and you've week. tested it and it works now? Uh, as far as I know. Okay, well that's good. Um, so, you gotta do some calibration, you know? I don't think our viewers care about your calibration. No, probably not. They just want to see the video from the drone. Alright. Um, you know. Lucas, we've kind of lost interest. All of our viewers have lost interest oh, in what you're right? talking about now. Oh. So I, we're I gonna move on. Yeah, but, but I haven't lost interest. Yes, Jason. You wouldn't happen to have the music from Chunkyard Dog. So we could have it running while we're oh. putting the, uh, oh. the trailer back together. Piece I do. Damien and I agree we kind of need that. Okay, I will be right back. Got it. Yeah, there we go. That's fitting. Go ahead. Oh, it might be more efficient if I overlay this into the video. I, I, I think you're... Got it? Yeah, that pulled it. Cool. It's the best I could do on short notice. 
Oh, no, that's a different episode. Oh, I know. <laughs> Listen, during this music, you're supposed to be working and not talking, right? This is a montage. That's true, it is. Yep. Light duty, a very fine automobile. Kit is the world's greatest automobile. What are you gonna do, turn them into a golf cart? Oh yeah. Oh geez. <laughs> That's good, Mark. <laughs> it's like you're taking on, you're on a boat Mark, and you're taking Mark, on water. I'm bailing out, man. <laughs> I was telling Kevin, I think I've, I've been boats that leak more than that. I've been in boats that leak more than that. Oh my. That yeah, is a guy named Harold. <laughs> that is a lot of cool. Idea. That's the majority of it. Uh, we're going to need something else to put it in. Jug, Here's jug. that blue one for oil. Uh, well, we got that one's one full jug, already. Yeah, the other one is about two thirds full. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to need something. Let me uh, let me go see what I can find. Okay. Dueling cameras. Dueling cameras, yeah. Yes. Okay, Mine's better, obviously. Of course. Of course, yes. Indeed. I can go higher than you. Got it? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, that looks nice. There is a loose one here. Uh, you see that one I'm like smacking around? I'm going to find it. I'm recording you, recording them. I'm recording you, recording you, recording you. It feels like you should be doing some manual labor. When I'm moving? This is manual labor. I'm mm. walking. Uh, oh. Okay. You see the hole? Up top. Hang on, don't hit it yet. Yes, that hasn't been used since, uh, it's been months. Yeah. So you stay kind of up there, don't come by the edge. Yeah. See. Your brother wants to go around this one and let that one dry. Yeah, he's been worried about it. 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 Yeah. Consistency of pudding. So. Alyssa, did you ever think that you'd be sitting on top of the Knight Rider yeah, semi? Yeah, no. yeah, you're on top of the Fly what? Command Center. Isn't that kind of cool? I can't take pictures. Even Michael wasn't up here. There were some thugs up here. There was some thugs up here. Just thugs and Garth. That's about it. Oh, that's right. Garth was up here. Well, no, Michael was up here, wasn't he? She came to the oh, that was Garth. That was Garth. I was done. He knows. He's, See, the, he's the expert. Of course he knows. He's I'm the expert. It's because those two episodes happen to be some of the best episodes. That's right. I like Kit versus Carl. I hope that opens. <laughs> Do you need a screwdriver? It might be glued shut. Well, can some, yes. Yeah, they're in the screwdriver. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. Bye. On top of the flag semi, Alyssa's is uh, thoroughly <laughs> blooping the vent. Making sure that there's no leaks. That's a very technical term. Blooping. It's thick. Got to make sure it's... Oh, it's thick. Thick. Uh, well, I mean, when you melt down this much chocolate, that's what happens. At least it'll smell good. Alan? One more to go. It might not taste good. You could eat it. Okay. Just going around. Resealing some spots on the... Ri what is this? What is this? You know, the assistant to the assistant to the assistant janitor of the story and said he took care of this. And if this is what he does, I can understand why he hasn't gotten that promotion he so desperately deserves no, at some point. Oh, he did get it. Oh, yeah, then he got demoted. Yeah. Well, now we know why. <sighs> Letting us down. And there it is. Sealed. Should be good to go. Once that all dries, it'll be black. Won't even be able to tell anything was done. Back to the way it was. On to the next project. Either no thermostat, huh? Don't know yet. I'm waiting for Joe to get here. Yeah, he can... he's gonna. He's gonna take a look at it. Okay. I don't know till then. Okay. Uh, we're just putting this back on since it's obviously not in there. Clearly not. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Only half inch wrenches. Hello again. I'm. What, what number am I now? 112. 112. Okay. I was 37. And 38, and then I was okay, 39 off camera. Good. Wow. Do you feel slighted? A little bit. You should. 
Yeah, I, I know. It's kind of obvious. Yeah. Are you, are you like flying your drone? I was. Did you take footage? Yeah. There's like of them up there? Six footage, yeah. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Hey, say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you, Joe. Say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what? Here we have Pat working hard, getting all these tappets installed. That's a lot of tappets. Yes. A lot of wood. Yes. And they're not going in very smooth either. That's fine. Again, it'll all be. Thankfully, you're not going to see them when it's done. That's right. It'll all be hidden by beautiful corrugated metal panels. That's usually the kind of work. That's usually the kind of work that people give me. The kind of stuff that won't be seen <laughs> when it's done. Well, the idea wasn't for you to do all of this by yourself. I don't know where. Maybe we, you know Jason's just standing out there. Maybe I can get him to help you. Ah. I'm gonna go out. Hi. How's the weather down there? Chilled. Would you like to see this? Yeah. How's it going, Kevin? Report. Uh, getting ready to scrape some gasket. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun. It's looking good. The other half is done. All right. As soon as the other Joe gets back here with the gasket material. Okay. We all set. And get the thermostat back in and okay. get it together. Excellent, excellent. Coolant. Coolant everywhere. Free coolant for anybody that wants it. You pay shipping. 87. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anybody wants screen use coolant? No, we can't guarantee it's screen use. But it was in the screen use truck, so it's close enough. It was screen used yeah, if you're yeah, counting you YouTube. You That's long. true. Yeah. Good point. Okay. We're charging the battery here because. Once they finish up, we're gonna get it fired up and. We still need about uh, six, you know, six feet of uh, one inch hose. What do we got going on back here? And then there's Pat all by himself in the <laughs> silence. This is looking great, Pat. That one of them got a little screwed up because the board was crooked, but it come out decent. I made the best of it. Nice. That's awesome. This yeah. is a huge help. Kind of getting the system down. Good. It's going fast. Yeah, I was going to say, you're making really good progress. Yeah. Which 
Yeah. Your boy doesn't have to go. All right. Uh-huh. Which direction he got to go? Kevin, righty, left, 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 righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Well, if you're not careful, lefty you will be. Lucy. Oh, I'll be careful. Yeah. Right <laughs> you're probably lose the bucket underneath. We'll slide it underneath the suit. You got to break it loose first. Yeah. Once you it's break it, it loose, yeah. Yeah, it yeah it's not going to drip right away under. Oh, okay. Uh, you're going to want the push wrench on the other pull, side to pull out. down. It's going the right way, correct? Yeah. Just do some, get it on there straight. Okay, so do some light taps. Again. Oh, yeah. stop, stop. It's loose. It's loose. You should be able to do it with your fingers now. Let go. Pull that out. Will that, see if it'll turn with your fingers. All right. And get your pan underneath it. Yeah, it's under. Yep. Can I just yep, let it go. drop? Yeah, take it out. Can I just let it drop into you here? You have to then? stay there. Pull your sleeve up. Uh, you're not going to want to. You yeah. have to stay with it until it fills the pan up because it's going to probably take more oil than that. You're not going to want to just let it drop because it. So you'll probably have to put it back in. Oh, right. That's when it'll splash you though. Oh, move it over. It's not getting on your pants, is it? No. Okay. Mommy will kill me. This is my blanket. Oh. Yeah, put that back on my bed when I get home. So I'm going to have to put this back Roll in. your sleeve up on that side. Yeah, yeah. you might have to put it. You're going to have to put you're it back in. You're going to put it back in as soon as that's filled. Uh-oh. Let it run. Let it run. Get it to the full, full mark oh, and then stick. we're going to have to dump it. <laughs> It's probably going to be a disaster. See, that worked good with that impact. Uh, yeah. Good should job I, there, I Andrew. Go ahead and put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> um, it back in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. No, that's not hard. Okay, what do I do now? No, wait. That's good. Now we got to get that out of there. Here, wipe right. your hand. Wipe yeah, your hand on that. Sorry. Don't get it on your jeans. No, I already do oh. Just a few uh, drops. Don't, 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 don't touch. Okay. Mom's going to kill you. Me, not you, me. Well, I have a Look at my blanket. I was going to put that back on my bed when I got home. I mean, I could just put this rag over my jeans. Well, not now. It's covered in oil. Uh, yeah. We're recording. All right, well, sick. All right. Everything's cleared in the trailer. We're good? Yep, we're good. We all right, just stand it up. Put one corner on the hand truck. Rock it up. Let the hand truck take the weight. And just a couple guys stabilize it. We have a hand truck. That's all right. The hand truck. Let's the dolly. Let's, let's, let's see. He's going to be able to stay on the guy We can get it. Oh, my God. Back, man. There. No problem. Turn it that way. Just go straight back. Ray, don't hurt your elbow. Watch out, there's a bunny cage right there. Oh, shoot. Go ahead, get under it, Zach. I'm good over here. I'm good. All right. All right, let's do it. All right, let me get on this. I need to do something. You're good, Ray, you're good. Look, I don't want you to injure yourself. Oh, now it's got weight. Oh, yeah, see that wall? There's a tree, a tree, there's a tree. Hold on, hold on, slow down. Slow down. Tree. Yeah, chop yeah, that yeah, tree yeah, we're down. Down real quick. Yeah, exactly. I got you guys. I wish that tree was gone. I think oh, Ray, you can't fit through there? <laughs> nice. Actually, it's not that it's not bad. not that bad. It's, it's just awkward. Right. What's like you? <laughs> Which way are we going? We should put it in That's here. Like you, can put it in it. you can't put it in the back. The back's full of stuff. Go. It's got to go in the side door. Dad, you mind? All right. Okay, we got to pick it up. I can't get in there. Right. So we're in the we're we're oriented correctly. Now we just have to get it up. The only issue is we had a, it, we, we struggled okay, so picking it up. How can we get this way? Right. Get the edge. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Tip so it. that way. Go. All right. Cool. Oh, this feels. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Sure hope this fits. Yeah. We're good. Yep. You're digging into the floor. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take a break. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put this side of the corner and then just door it. I don't know. It might be too tight for the. Well, to see, or if we have to. Remove, remove that S hook. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything else like that in the wall? No. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. You want to try it? All right. Hold on, see. hold on. Okay. Give everyone a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, right. Uh, you, you over I know, here. I know, I know, I'm just getting the, you know, yeah, shot. Yeah, behind the wall. It, it hey, whoa. I'm not a fan of that idea. 
Because that had the heavier part. Now what about finishing off that? That doesn't have to be plywooded or anything? That I'll be able to fit the pieces through here. here. It's fine. We're okay. good. Okay. Yeah, he'll be ready. Sarah says he can unbolt this and remove it by himself and we're not here anyway. Sure. Uh, are you going to pick it up? Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll get sprayed. You'll go off. through the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll come down. Yeah. Right, right? I mean, you got a guillotine right <laughs> here. Oh, God, yeah. Of course, I'll about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What do I do? What do I feel? All the stuff I back here is just no cram back here so you have enough room to put that door I, in. When you look at this, or not the door, the wall. Uh, final destination. Which is, that's going to be the oh door. Oh god! Yeah. Yeah. It's a bad it's of any of this, thousands of pounds of It wouldn't fit. How'd you get that out? You were killed by the Night Riders. Yeah, yeah. Did you bring, bring this? We gonna do the same thing? Oh, you want to bring it up against the wall? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. there. Okay. Okay. Would it would it be actually better if we lay it down, slide it up onto the platform? Is there enough space oh, on the platform? There's an idea. There should be, I would think. Put this I think there. there. Yeah, there should be. And that way we can just. Uh, Lift it up like we did outside. Yeah. Instead of having to pick up. Yeah. yeah let's just. Uh, yeah. What so if we, if if we that level is, this out, bring this in straight, yeah. Yeah. then lay it down. Yeah. It up. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so you want to go in? Yeah. 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 Let's figure out what we're gonna do this now. That's gonna be a tight fit. That's 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 right. Right. Wow. Tight fit. Nice. That's the way it should be. Huh? Just not much less than that. Yeah. That's almost like you did. Okay. It's almost like you knew what you were doing. So we're oh, you're thinking of doing that way. Yeah, okay. take it down. Oh, man. oh, and then they're going to slide it. Wait, we got space over here. If you can. Okay. Keep sliding there. There we go. Okay. All right. Pivot right there. Oh, okay. Wait. Hang on. There we go. I'm stuck on the wall over here. Yeah, yeah. All right, need to take off a little bit. It needs to come all the way back there, the wall. It doesn't go right here. No, it goes, it goes right back. Okay. All the way back. Well, where, that, where that unpainted okay. wood is right get there. Get it standing up first so it'll slide can... back easier. Okay. It's, you think so? Yeah, man. It's it's wedge with the uh, angle Yeah. And then you're going to have to drop the top. There's back. a little. Drag it that way a little bit so we can get up here, and then all three of us can go down here. The C channel. So Actually, you want to just put that where it goes and we'll just push the bottom in? Do it. Yeah, let's just keep going. Yeah, yeah, the top needs to go all the way back. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. A little more. All right, we're clear of the C channel. All right, you see this rib right here with the holes? Yeah, this one. Which one? This this rib right here That's on both sides. That, see the holes? Okay, okay I see the holes. Uh, okay. okay. So, so they go all the way back. Come on. Oh, we're stuck on that angle iron over there. No, we're stuck down here, I think. No, I we're stuck right on the we're free top. Off. Is it the top? It is the top. Oh, there it goes. Within a six, uh, 30 second. I believe that's more square than the trailer. The trailer yeah. was 1978. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. This yeah, thing's. Yeah. This we're thing's... actually straightening the trailer. Right. right. Yeah. No, we're reinforcing the trailer. Yeah. 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 It's a good break. Oh, yeah. No, I think Fuck. Joe did a decent design. Like these things aren't. Right there's nothing to these things, man. No. Isn't that no. crazy? Tin, tin foil, like a beer can. Yeah, you see one going down the road, you think it's pretty sturdy, and not so much. Well, I wonder what it's like inside one of these when it's on the highway going 80 miles an hour. Probably loud. 
Well, it's probably oh, loud, but I'm wondering. I'm wondering how much. How much flex? That's doing. Well, a lot of that's right taken out with the wood that he's putting in, with the walls. You, you need a block of wood? I do need a bigger one, but I didn't feel like getting You got a block of wood? Block of wood pry, pry bars or anything? Yeah. Go get one of the two by fours that I, or the four by sixes that I brought. Is there supposed to be something oh. between here? No, it's open. Okay. It's basically it's like a storage crawl space. There'll, there'll be a mini kitchenette here, which is where that goes. Well, I thought the kitchenette was. I thought the, the kitchenette wall. was supposed to go behind. No, it's it's right, right there. Like right, right there. there? Yeah, I, I thought mean, it was a couch here. The kitchen that goes right over here. That's where my couch is. Right over here. here. All right. Uh, I recommend getting right. a corner over here. Um, get out of the way. I don't want right. to be shattered. He said get in the corner first. Not all the way for? Yeah, because right. I can see it's. There you go. Ready? Yeah. This needs to go right here. That there. So, can we get the top to go down there? Right well, there? what you need to do is you need to hit the bottom corners and first, and then the what? top. <laughs> oh, you are still here. Oh, look at that. So I woke up. <laughs> I've been up. I'm in a bad spot. All right, do the most I down. down. I could. Then do it. I'm a global group punisher. Yeah, two, two hammers and two blocks of wood. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got a big sledge? Yeah, I saw sledge. Sledge. Giant yeah. sledge and a big sledge. Yeah. I have my hat. No. Man, I guess that's no. stuck in my head. Yeah. There you go. That's good. That's good. Let's do that. It's like having your head inside a bell. Right? Well, <laughs> you guys aren't used to gunshots going off without your gloves? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. one or two, but. You gotta make the exact shape touch the metal before you what? hit it. Huh? Oh, what? 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 Huh? I can't hear you! Huh? What? 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 Yeah, what? it's 11 o'clock. You need to do the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> bottom. 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 Go to school. Get that up there. Please, please, you please well, the Patrick, Patrick, zip it. Hold on to that. Well, yeah. Please, for the love of God, don't. <laughs> <go. laughs> hey, is there another ladder there? Can I can explain that? You go home. What happened? Yeah. You don't want to know. <laughs> step stool. Ladder, step stool. Yeah. So that Something. way I can hold it while he's hitting the top and he's hitting the bottom. Fairly evenly. Maybe we don't want too much sense. I don't know if this is going to be okay. Hold on, hold on. Before we start making noise, hey Jason. Hey. In my truck, mean. in my truck, there's a bag of earplugs in the glove box, the one on the bottom, not the one on the top. Oh, he's got two glove boxes. Bottom, bottom glove, glove box. box. Okay. Red, dash. red well, black bag. Are we going? On your count. I'm on you now. Three, two, Still one, go. It's coming out on this side. Yeah, oh, it's, the weight I came at me. That's, oh, nice. I'm almost there, Jeff. Right. Tap it in. There you go. No, I said, do you want me to hold on to the bag? Yeah, just oh, put it in the truck if everyone's done using it. I'm here. I'm not going to need it. Okay. And then I'll put it back. Glad you opened the right glove box. I did. Oh, it's in the wrong glove box. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's what we want. 45. 19 or the new one? New one. Grab a sledgehammer. Get in here and start beating on this. New one's got a sledgehammer. Oh, oh, underneath it. Oh, nice. So I figure if I have to fast the next one, and I can't look down the sights. Hold on, just right. saying something. Like, what? The top, I can't get the top one in. Can you peek in the top one and see how far it's off or where it's off? I can't off? really tell because of the Take the bolt back out real quick, Joe. The top bolt is out. I think the top of the wall needs to go back towards the back of the trailer just a hair. Okay, so this one. Hammer. Okay. A little more. A little more. Let me see. There it is. There, there it is. 
needs to go up. What? A little bit more. They're not open, are they? Damn, it came from. They're not open. There. Yeah, okay. Still cool. Like, I'm not tall enough to. Yeah. No. Exactly. Let's talk about that. Just like. This is, where the eye is that the right <laughs> socket for that? Uh, yeah, this, this is the right socket. So let's oh go nice. right down yeah. that side and we'll go up on this side. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Where does he start? I gotta make sure the plates are square on the other side. camera, do you mind? Okay. You're doing the left you side mind? first. You mind? Who's left? Well, this would be the left of the trailer. Now that, not, now that we're not uh, Liberty Belling it anymore. Dang. Start at the top. No, I have. What? <laughs> I have two sets of your pump. <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody's sending it a little too much. How's that? That's good. All right. He didn't mean send it, send it. <laughs> so the holes in that. Well, the, there's the full holes in the trailer. The holes in the trailer, are those the original holes? Yeah. From? Yeah. 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 It's yeah, tight yeah, yeah, it's all it strips and then back an outer quarter. That's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Pat, we'll do the top one over here. All right, hold up. Two look at the clean. Can you reach that one? Basically, that was definitely two, two, just two, yeah. two hits, Pat. Yeah, right when the wood flattens up. Yeah. You can see it pull the wall yeah, in. Yeah, it can. As soon as it pulls the wall in, it's it. That's it. The earplugs didn't work. I swallowed them both. <laughs> Good. I had to play tough today. But yeah, I'm the parents will be That's awesome. Okay. That is a huge, huge step forward. That huge no W man. That ain't good. Phenomenal. Oh, look at that. And your measurements are right on because that's amazing. It fits the the four 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 yes. I was a little concerned also about the holes in the side. Are they going to oh, yeah. line up? But yeah. that's, that's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, you can see the mark with a wedge. So it's yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. Just, Just remember. What's that bracket? I don't know. Uh, th I, that's one you? I can identify. I think it had something to do with when that was Are down there. Are going to be part of Night Rider history. Okay. <laughs> that's a big deal. We're walling you up in there. <laughs> yeah. We're all going to be buried in black well, coffins. He's like just thinking St. Gotham's army. He's thinking. Well, do like last Excellent work. That's a big deal because there's no way that. Well, there's so many things that can get done now that that's in. So. Right. Now, what went where he's sitting? Anything? Just an open space. It was just an open cavity as far as I know. Want to leave the liar in there? Hey, Danny, can you give me a photo over here? Oh, absolutely. Need to start building my resume one way or another. Start hanging the plywood sheets. He's in there forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's the day after the big work day part two, and wanted to take you around and show you all of the work we got done yesterday which was a ton so we're going to go over and we'll recap and kind of tell you what's next so here we go let's start with the tractor so we kind of split the team up we had um, a couple guys working on the tractor a couple guys working on the trailer it worked out really well so they got all of the old coolant and old oil drained out we got all of the hoses, the coolant hoses, all replaced. These are all brand new, ready to go, which is awesome. Um, the ones in here before, none of them were leaking, but you could tell they were very old. And um, it just made sense to, you know, get, uh, get everything replaced so we don't have to worry about that in the future. Um, they got this filter replaced. We still have to do those two. We haven't put the new oil in yet. The new coolant is in. We did the belts last time. So um, we're, unfortunately, we wanted to get this thing fired up and maybe even connected to the trailer yesterday, but um, it just didn't happen. Too much work and the, the uh, tractor's not ready to be 
fired back up yet, but um, it's it's gonna happen soon, sooner rather than later. And um, we also had a diesel mechanic down here who was trying to diagnose the uh, issue where it won't turn off with the key. He thinks he knows what it is, so um, he's gonna come back here in the not too distant future and hopefully we'll get that figured out and then the tractor will be pretty much completely roadworthy. Still gotta get the front tires replaced. I have the tires, just need to get them replaced. But other than that, should be good to go. Um, they were also looking at the fifth wheel. They greased up the tracks and you, you know, they, they greased it up and oiled it. So um, we, again, we couldn't fire the truck up so we can't really test it to see if everything's working, but they removed some surface rust and and uh, we'll see next time when we fire it up if that actually works. The trailer had a huge upgrade yesterday. <clears throat> we got the winch wall in, which you guys saw. So these plates, you can see these on the show. Um, these are the bolts, these are the, the holes were still here in the trailer from where the winch wall was. And the bolts were actually still in there too. The backing plates were gone. So I had new backing plates fabricated. We got all new bolts and we got those put in. Right now they're primed. That's why they're this uh, red color because they're steel and I didn't want them to rust before we get it painted. So we got those back in their original holes. And if we come over here, you'll see same thing over here. So once that's all painted black, it'll blend in a lot nicer. But um, that winch wall was something else. Um, Damien and Jason, who were here, they got the remaining rivets in the trailer. There were, you know, a few here and there, like this one. Well, you can see the ones that weren't sandblasted, right? These ones, they got all those put back in and we had couple dozen in the middle here from when we replaced this panel we didn't get to last work day they got all those in so all the rivets on the entire trailer are done which is phenomenal so let's go ahead inside we'll show you kind of what happened yesterday on the inside it's a little dark in here but i'm not gonna open the door so pat um his main task was working on these plywood panels, getting all of the tappets in, getting these panels all secured. Um, when he started yesterday, I had them secured at the top, but they were just kind of flapping. He got this entire wall done, which is phenomenal. There's still some, these ones still need done. We still have some more panels to cut. I have all the wood, all the insulation. Again, just kind of ran out of time yesterday. Um, Damien was up on the ceiling with his daughter Alyssa, on the roof, excuse me, um, doing some final ceiling. I'll take you up there in a minute, but I wanted to share the crown jewel of yesterday's workday with you. <coughs> the winch wall. Look at that. I know it's dark in here, but uh, hopefully you can see it fairly well. So this was my design. Um, the original winch wall, there's no known pictures of it, and the people that we talked to that worked on the show um, couldn't quite remember exactly how it was, so this is my interpretation of it. I did add a few little things, like for example, this opening here. So this is, you know, this is going to be the lounge, the finished lounge. There's a sofa that sits here in the lounge, and you're going to be able to go underneath and crawl under the sofa to get to this cavity back here. So there's about two feet between the front of the trailer and this winch wall. So we're going to use that for either storage or maybe uh, HVAC or a generator or something that we're gonna use, you know, we're gonna be able to hide a lot of stuff behind that wall. It actually works out perfectly because this upper deck of the trailer, this depth right here, matches almost exactly the depth of the set. So it actually works out well that that winch wall goes right where it goes. Um, that's the shelf for where the winch goes. And we had a, a excellent, amazing welder here uh, yesterday. And 
Um, he did a fantastic job on welding this whole thing and especially that um, shelf up there. That thing is not coming down, um, which is good because this wall has to take the stress of opening and closing the, the ramp, right? So we got our 12,000 pound winch up there, which is way overkill, but that's what we wanted. We didn't want any possible failure of that winch due to not being able to pull enough. So you can see here, there's the other side of the bolts. We had to get these panels, uh, this one reinstalled. This is an original one. This one put back in, we got insulation behind here. So that's all in there and these panels, <laughs> they're not coming out again unless the wall comes out which is not coming out because you saw how much we struggled getting it in but there we go and um, It's it was amazing how perfectly it lined up. It fits nice and flush the holes I drilled in the in the uh, frame lined up with the holes in the trailer perfectly just really really happy With how that whole project turned out so um, Still gotta do the insulation and plywood there But let's take you up to the roof and we'll show you the work that Damien and his daughter did up here. And we'll just climb this ladder. It was, uh, we had a little bit of rain yesterday off and on, and it definitely is colder than it has been, but uh, everyone persevered and actually it was a good weather for a work day. So. so let's get up here. And you can see just since yesterday, look at all the stuff that fell. But, um, yeah, so they finished sealing all those. You can see it's the, the black is still a little bit shiny. It'll fade to, to this as time goes on. But we wanted to get the, the vents painted black too because they were black in the show. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, probably in the spring, maybe we'll do one final coat on this. But honestly, when Damien was up here, he went over it. He spotted a few places and I think it's good to go. You got all these leaves off, but the leaves are just starting to fall. So this is gonna be covered with leaves. So I'll wait a little bit, but roof is officially done. Does not leak one drop. Uh, coincidentally, it rained last night um, quite a bit. So I came out first thing in the morning, went inside, bone dry everywhere. So that's probably the first time this trailer has been completely sealed off from the weather in a very long time so that's good news for us because that means we can start um, really digging into the interior pulling up these aluminum uh, sheets on the floor the reason i kept them in here for so long is because the roof was leaking and it was better to leak on this than the original wood floor now that's all done so we can get all that cleaned out as you can see we do have a lot of debris here i got to clean out this was all the stuff, it was up there, but we had to move it all for the winch wall. So now it's all back there. Lots of cleaning to do, but um, just really, really exciting. You know, this, this trailer is coming back to life. All right, guys, so I think that's about all we got done yesterday, which is really a ton of work. So I wanna thank all the guys and girls that came out yesterday to help with the semi. Um, really, really appreciate it. We get so much done in such a short amount of time because there's so many people out there willing to come out, help us, and uh, it's just it's just fantastic. So um, that's all on the semi for today. Thank you so much for watching. There's much more to come. Like I said, the weather's turning here. It's starting to get colder. Winter is gonna be here before you know it. But um, the nice thing is we don't have to stop work now that we're weatherproof and we're mostly insulated in there We can continue working on the inside of the trailer all throughout the winter. So hopefully no breaks in semi update videos Thanks so much for watching We'll catch you next time Hello friends, it's me kit when I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. <laughs>